From working in the dining hall to crafting lattes at a coffee shop, it's not unusual for college students to hold down jobs as they pursue their education. But for one master's degree candidate in the state of Virginia, that other job is not like the others. Scott McFarlane has his story. Don Beyer carries his textbook on the quad and even sports a traditional college sweater. Yeah, the education is more important, although I am striving for the degree. He's not the age of your typical student at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. I hope in three years perhaps to have a master's in, in machine learning, subset of computer science, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Considering what he does for a living, he's not a typical student at all. The 72-year-old buyer goes by another title. Congressman, who now spends free pockets of time in the Capitol cramming for calculus tests. And we're just trying to make it happen as quickly as we can. Juggling his day job with his pursuit of a degree in machine learning. How do you balance that? How do you get a college work done? I have to get up earlier and go to bed later. I, it tends to consume lots of Saturday mornings and Sunday evenings. Byer says he recognized Congress is about to be called on to create the laws that govern the emerging and for some frightening artificial intelligence technology in which machines and computer systems perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence. Although I'm much more excited than concerned, but it's naive not to be concerned. And this economist and one time member of the House Science Committee says he decided to get a degree so that he'd actually understand it. With the explosion of ChatGPT and GPT-4, uh, this is very much a topical thing. Washington has already been grappling with artificial intelligence, dealing with a sea of new proposed legislation. One piece would restrict the use of AI at nuclear facilities. Another would restrict its use in campaign ads. How many numbers are there between 100 and 999 that have no repeated digits? Meanwhile, college courses in machine learning and advanced math are burgeoning at colleges nationwide. Math 125 is required for the degree that I am taking, which is cybersecurity. As for the senior student at George Mason University. He's a very good student. He's very studious. He makes sure that he gets his stuff done. He's pursuing his own version of advanced intelligence. For CBS Saturday Morning, Scott McFarlane, Fairfax, Virginia. Good for him. That's how you learn. Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna legislate about this, yeah. you better know about it. You sometimes see these congressional hearings on tech, and you wish our representatives knew a little bit more about the topic. And to see him pursue this is uh, promising. Maybe he's gonna start a trend. Perhaps it would be nice.